I already know that Arun Manai from Mr. Who's Boss made a video on this topic. However, I don't agree with his reasoning, so I'm making my own video on this topic, and I'm sorry for butchering his last name if I did. Anyone over the age of 14 remembers gaming in the young years of iOS and Android back in the glory days of Angry Birds, Temple Run, Jetpack, Joyride, among many other classics. People who remember these games remember having fun. Sure, you may have had to pay 99 cents for a game or to remove ads, but most people didn't care. In fact, back in Christmas 2011, my parents gifted me a MobiGo, a gaming console meant for children. However, I preferred using my iPad 1 for prim playing primarily educational games, which taught me basic math and reading when I was three. However, video games no longer exhibit the same entertainment, but especially on iOS and Android. But why is that? Let's get into it as I play my old games on my old iPad Mini 1. The biggest problem with iOS and Android games is the fact that they are ads with a game, as Kelson01 said in episode 26 of his Talk, Talking at Myself with Kelson podcast. In other words, these games are filled with so many advertisements that there's barely any game. At that point, why play video games when you can do other things? Whilst this doesn't exclusively apply to mobile gaming, another big issue of video games is their confusing in-game currencies. To the army of gamers that will comment right now saying that video game currencies are simple to comprehend, let me ask you this. How easy is it to know how much real money you're spending in video games? If you guess no, then you're correct because many games require users to spend in-game money to win prizes that they never do or to, in, or in hopes that the user will be anticipated to, once they spend the money to look at the prize that they'll never do, which therefore leads to users developing video game addiction while simultaneously losing way too much money. This is literally gambling in disguise. Whereas issue ties back to iOS and Android games that they are notorious for requiring exchanges of so many types of currencies to the point where it's not only needlessly confusing, but also makes users spend far more real money than they realize. On top of that, a lot of these games advertise themselves as being free too, which is especially deceiving. Many gamers also care about the graphics that their games develop, deliver, which is why many modern console and PC games are drastically improving their graphics. However, video games on iOS and Android are barely improving their graphics. Whilst it could be argued that the average Joe doesn't care about graphics or how many frames per second their games are running at, I beg to differ because many average Joes are gamers that care about graphics and FPS of their games. A rumor from Mr. Who's the Boss said in his video that smartphone games are lacking in innovation because unlike with consoles, iOS and Android game developers must optimize for such a broad variety of smartphones and tablets that it's not feasible to develop high quality smartphone games. However, PC games have to optimize for an even wider variety of computers due to even more computer manufacturers and the large market of custom-built PCs, so Arun's argument was lacking. On top of that, it should be even easier to develop games for iOS because developers only have to optimize for a few generations of the iPhone, which only come from one company. Whilst you can and may have already commented that you still enjoy gaming on your phone or that I shouldn't care because I don't play games regardless, I still care about this because I see this opinion growing drastically in the tech community and just in general. On top of that, I used to think that portable gaming consoles such as the Nintendo Switch were stupid because you might as well just game on your phone or tablet. However, how bad smartphone gaming has gotten, I now think that a portable gaming console is the better choice. At the end of the day, because smartphone games are declining quality, people will quit playing them. Consequently, this leads to developers losing money, so this winds up hurting them in the long run instead of helping them. But do you agree with me? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes Fanboy, and peace out.